So we're going to find the value of 27 raised to the power of minus 2 thirds. So to do this, uh, we need to know the rule that tells us that if we reciprocate 27, so we write it upside down, then we can get rid of the negative sign. So 27 to the minus 2 thirds is equal to 1 over 27 to the power of 2 thirds. We now need to do take the third, that's the bottom part of the fraction, and that means cube root and cube root, our top and bottom numbers separately, and then move on to squaring them. So if we take the cube root of 1, it's 1, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So we're nearly finished, we've now got to square 1 and square 3, and that's going to give me 1 over 9. So that's the first part of the question done. Now part B requires us to manipulate a third so that there is no, so we rationalise the denominator, there's no denominator. So to do that, um, you need to know the technique, which is to multiply the top and bottom of our fraction by root 2. So you'll see that root 2 now appears twice, so it's root 2 over root 2, so anything divided by itself is 1, so it won't change the value, and we times it through um, uh, the fraction that we have. So root 2 times 8 is going to give me 8 root 2, and then I'm going to have minus root 2 times root 18. I should know that root 2 times root 2 is 2. Now I can't simplify the 8 root 2, so I leave that as it is, 8 root 2, let's just get rid of that splodge. So it's 8 root 2. Now I can put my 2 and 18 together, 2 times 18, all over 2. And then we can move that on to 8 root 2 minus root 36, all over 2. I'm going to space here, and then that becomes, I think I'll put my answer, let's move the answer up here, there's a bit more space. So we've got 8 root 2 minus 6, all over 2. Now finally we can divide the 2 into the 8, giving me 4 root 2, and the 2 into the 6, giving me minus 3, and that gets rid of the 2. So we're almost there. So we can see that it's written the other way around, so we'll put, the, we'll put it the way around we've got here. So we put the number first, it's minus 3 plus 4 root 2. So the value of A is minus 3, and the value of B is 4. So um, we could write that down just to make that clear. Obviously I have a bit more room than I have on my exam paper. So the X, rather the A, should I put the A, is minus 3, and the B is 4. That's the answer to part B.